Here was another story that came up, and it has to do with Rob Gronkowski. This came up on Friday. There was a report that the Patriots might have been sh uh, shopping Rob Gronkowski. And, you know, Gronk said, no, that's fake news, and that Brady was going to retire if they traded Rob Gronkowski. Now, I thought, okay, maybe that is fake news, but why wouldn't the Patriots shop Rod Gronkowski? This team has no loyalty, no allegiance to any of their players. Except for, I guess, Tom Brady, but everybody else, you know, you've got guys who, uh, you know, Ty Law, Lawyer Malloy, Richard uh, Seymour, they, they've gotten rid of players, and usually they get rid of players a year before than a year too late. So why wouldn't you think about a guy who's injury prone, who wasn't sure if he was all in, wanted maybe more money, contract extension, and what is he, 29? That the Titans were interested in this. And the reason why I, I gave some validity to this is Mike Vrabel is the new coach in Tennessee and a, obviously a former uh, Patriot player and coach. You could bring him in, you know, pair him with Delaney Walker, and okay, maybe you got the, a different version of what the Patriots did when they had Hernandez and Gronkowski there. But Gronk said, no, it's, it's not true. Uh, Robert Kraft... Uh, the rumor claimed nix the deal over fear that Brady would retire. Hmm. Okay. Gronk wouldn't comment attending uh, next week's voluntary workouts uh, after he was uh, on the field for the uh, week's mandatory minicamp. But yeah, I, why wouldn't you think about doing that? I mean, it's a very patriot-like thing to do. You get to be thirty-one. You're not going to get anything for Rob Gronkowski. But if you can get something now, yeah, McLovin. I know I'm totally fooling myself, but I feel like they really need him on the field. When things got tough in the AFC title game, the first half, the only thing they could do was find Gronk Super Bowl. Same thing. Second half, Gronk was unstoppable. But they went to a Super Bowl without Gronk. Yeah. And they went to a Super Bowl without Julian Edelman. That's amazing. And they've done it again where there's turnover at running backs and turnover at wide receiver. And who's the favorite to go to the Super Bowl again? Even with this offseason of turmoil, disarray, rumor, innuendo, incredible. Yeah, McLovin. I mean, who is their receiving core? They, Edelman's out. Amendola's gone. Imagine if they didn't have Gronk. They have, uh, you know. Cordero Patterson. Yeah, I mean, I know they have Hogan, who's always Britt. hurt. Britt. Although Hogan played well in the Super Bowl. Yeah. He's, He's a little prone. injury prone. That's a concern there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get that being said, like, I feel like they're the strong favorite in the AFC. It doesn't even matter. But I could, I could see, well, they play in a bad division, but I, I could see them entertaining the idea. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.